Hi everybody, so quite a few people have noticed this. What this is, is an eccentric cycloid drive. It's actually very similar to this, only extruded out and twisted, which we'll see in a minute. Now, I came across this by O.T. Vinter, who said that it was a patented device. And it was patented, and it was patented by a Russian, and the American patent came out in 2009, but lapsed in 2020 because of lack of payment. And what you're seeing is this kind of drive springing up everywhere now, because it is really quite cool. It looks looks very like a worm drive, but it's very different to a worm drive. In a worm drive, like this one here, the worm is right in the centre. When you turn the worm, you can turn the main cog. We've got it attached to a scotch yoke, and you can see it going around. And you can do it forwards and backwards. But what you can't do is turn that cog in there, because it locks against the worm. So worm drives cannot be back driven. Also, they work on one single tooth in the main cog, so there's a lot of force on that tooth. These ones actually don't have the force on their single tooth. They're a rolling sliding contact, so they can do forward and reverse, and they can also be back driven, and that's really exciting. Now, the way they work, is if you think about our cycloid drive and a cam, the cam sits there and as the cam rolls around, it forces that drive around. But of course, when it's on the top there, it can just slide off. So it's much easier to have two offset by 180 degrees. And when you do that with two cams, then they will sit at a point where they are both at the top or the bottom, and it reduces that chance of it to of sliding. Now what you need to imagine is that you get a single one and you extrude it out, but put a twist in it as you extrude it. You do the same thing with the cam, and what you end up with is this. Now, the gear ratio on this is the same as a worm gear. You've got one of these, and each of these count as the gear ratio. Now, there's 10 here, so this is a 10 to 1 gear ratio. What that means is that if I give that one 10 turns, that will turn once. So the speed reduces by 10, but the torque equally goes up by 10, so something like that is immensely useful, and the Russians did an awful lot of stuff with it. We want to do something slightly different, of course, because I'm fascinated by generation and using a speed of generation so that we can get it to spin quickly, put the magnets on the rim of a disc, pass them past a coil, and we should get good generation. So, what I did was take that drive, so it's the same drive as this one, exactly the same, and I put a serpentine coil around it, and a disc with some magnets in. This is pretty much standard for what we do, so if you're watching the videos, you'll know exactly what this is. It's just a disc, like that, with some magnets, neodymium magnets, one centimetre diameter, two millimetres deep, arranged around the centre of the disc. And then around that, we have a serpentine coil, and now we can spin that using our drive, because we can now backspin it, and we get 10 times the speed out of here than we're inputting here. So this thing spins like Billy O. Let's have a look and see what it actually does. Okay, so we've got what is our usual setup. We've got a voltmeter right here. We've connected it up to our generator. I'm going to give it a spin. And Luke, who's doing a guest appearance before he disappears off to university, is going to yell out the volts for us because I've tried the mirror trick doesn't work for me. The other thing is I've actually uh, managed to open up a Thingiverse account, so I'll put the link in the description to these files and it'll be on Thingiverse. But let's give it a spin and see what we can get out of it. Whoa, 10 volts. Oh, really? 13, 16. <laughs> wow, so 16 volts with no effort at all. Obviously, what I want to do is stick that onto a wind turbine, but there we go. A really cool and simple gear for putting up the speed for generation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.